four months ago, I set out on the journey to fix my grandma's internet. And the reason that this setup took four months is really simple. Me and my family were actually moving to a new house and we needed all the time we could get to work on packing and all the other boring moving things. So what I did, I got all the stuff set up and I got all the settings working, I got it all optimized, but we kind of stopped there. But now we can finally get started, so let's go. So I'm in my grandma's house and you might hear a little bit of background noise because it's raining and thundering and all that. So we used to have an Apple Airport Mini, Airport Express, I think, and that was running her network. Plus we also had a Netgear mesh with the cats in there, so we can't really do that. Oop, this is mine. But we used to have AT&T's landline DSL, and that was a piece of garbage. Bam, bam. So we're having Xfinity run a line. They had to run a brand new line all the way back there, um, all the way back and into this room for our new RS modem, which you saw in the previous episode of that, it's in the top right corner. RS modem goes to TP-Link router, goes to two unified access points. It's gonna be great. And on an absolutely splendid note, her new Wi-Fi is going to have speed and working and a password. The last thing is that sadly we couldn't actually get anyone to run ethernet throughout the house for the access points. So we're just gonna have one in this room and that's that for now. In case you need a refresher, the whole system that we're setting up is one access point in the master bedroom, which we couldn't record. Another access point in the living room, which is working great. And there's some nice footage later in the video. And we're gonna hardwire her older smart TV so that it works better and she doesn't have to type in the password because, I mean, she didn't used to have a password, so we're doing that. She's also having Xfinity Voice installed, so she's going to have voice over IP rather than a landline phone. So that's pretty cool. So we have our low voltage contractor here and um, he just finally got through the metal stud it, it was not working very good. His bit got just stuck in the wall, so that's fun. But the good news is we actually have ethernet and it's being run. At least it's being run outside, but it's true cable direct burial, so it's not going anywhere. I'll let you know when one of the access points fires up and we'll see. Yep. Okay, yeah. We have cable. That goes to the access point. Woo! We got through. Finally, we got some ethernet for the TV. Ah! This is her backyard, and right above there is her indoor access point. And this is her giant backyard. It expands far past where all those trees go. And if I go down here, I speed tested every single location here. So if I were to go to this very edge over here, it works better outside than it works inside, frankly. And if I walked right over to this corner, I'd be like five megabit or 15 megabit, which is, you know, it's fine. But the same thing can definitely be said for if you go to that edge and take a speed test, you'll get about five or 10 megabit out of her 300 megabit plan which is fine by me because both of her access points are actually facing that way on a slanted roof. So that's fine by me. Well, yes, some more footage for this video would have been great. I was stressed because one of the cables wasn't working and we had to rerun it and it was a whole thing. I'll definitely keep you guys posted of any new activities or fun videos that are coming out in the future via YouTube Shorts. But yeah, I'd call this a job well done. If you like this video, please click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully there's some more videos out.